Okay, hi, we're from uh, group two. Uh, our project was the washing machine uh, light sensor. So, uh, in this milestone, we've used uh, the Postgres SQL database uh, as the middleman between the sensor and the Flask uh, server and the web sites GUI. So, uh, first I'll introduce the tables that we defines our database. Uh, first, we created a table of all the washing machines and uh, the ID, uh, the college, the block, the location, the room index, uh, the money input, and whether it's working or not. Uh. Okay, so the key, the primary key would be the washing machine's ID. Yeah, this entire table is about washing machines. So this will be the primary key. Uh. And in the next table, uh, is basically the sensor lock. Uh. The, the, we lock all the timestamp where the sensor data comes in. And which washing machine was it? Uh, the washing machine ID. And whether it is in use or not in use uh, means whether the light sensor detects light or not. So as you can see the the washing machine ID is the foreign key in this table. Uh. So this will be the shared key that links the two tables involved. Okay, so now we want to see uh, how uh, the sensor sends the data to the database. And you can see the, the real-time changes in the Flask server, uh, which is exactly as the previous milestone, just that in this case, we, the sensor sends the data to the database first, and the Flask server will be reading uh, the sensor data from the database. Okay, so here's the sensor. As you can see, uh, the sensor is here, and then here's the Flask uh, web GUI. So right now I'm gonna uh, close the light since it was earlier light up. I'll focus my camera on the washing machine. Okay, it's off. Now I'm gonna open again. Uh. Open and wait for a while. There's a delay. It's gonna light up soon. Uh. Okay, so yep, that's how it works. But uh, I'm going to show you what the database actually receive. Uh, as you can see here, it's now is the 63. Uh, 63. I'm going to refresh, and you'll see that yeah, we receive more data. And what is the last row was basically a true, which is why our washing machine the flask server picks up the true and light up the washing machine box so as you also can see here there's a data visualization uh, so we're supposed to put in a toggle button and you click the stats for this washing machine and you give out uh, last month's activity uh, basically uh, we, we gather the entire so the 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 table in the sensor lock and then we make a heat map of which are the busiest days and which are the not so busy days yeah so this is uh, static it's not dynamic uh, we're still working on the dynamic uh, data visualization uh, but for now uh, the static one seems to be working so this is data visualization okay. so yeah that's uh, group 2's project so far the database works Flask is reading the database oh yeah another way to prove that Flask is reading properly on the database is that you can see the last updated time is January 13 Thursday 11.49pm and if you look at the last row it's basically says uh, 
Oh, sorry, I still have to refresh. Yeah, the it says eleven forty nine on January thirty. So yeah, it's basically reading the latest. Yeah, so that's our project. Thank you.